push-ups and some variations. Regular run-of-the-mill push-up. You're gonna have your hands outside your shoulders. You're gonna really grip the ground, okay? It's really key to use your hands when you're doing a push-up. I'm gonna show you on the knees first. Back long and straight. You're gonna draw all your muscles up and strong, keeping that flat back. You come down, chest stopping right above the floor. Cadence pick go. Coming back up. A couple things. Don't lift your head. Don't look down. Just look forward and keep that long, neutral neck. Slightly tuck chin. Nothing's hanging. I know I've got a sweatshirt on, but I promise you my core is tight. Everything's stable. When you're ready, you come on the toes. But if the hips start to sag, the head starts to sag, you start to feel wonky, you can't get good range, put the knees back down, strength comes in phases. A tripod push-up would just be lifting one knee off the floor. Make sure your hips don't open if you do this. Taking away stability points is great. Keep the hips square to the floor. You have to squeeze your booty to keep your leg lifted. It's fantastic. That's a tripod. A wide push-up. You're simply going to take the hands out wider. Okay? Nice wider grip. Don't go down quite as low. And push. So the elbows are going to draw back and out just a little further. Fantasticness. Love that variation. Mm. So there's a wide push-up, a tripod version, and your basic push-up. You can add an incline. I might have you do an incline by doing a push-up on an elevated surface. That might happen. I might have you do a decline, taking your feet on something high and adding that tension that way. 